Maybe it's such a bad map. Here we are. Game number two. Yep. Getting into uh, what is the best of three finale to the Ting qualifiers. In the top left side, we've got the red Terran player, Keen. In the top right, as the blue Zerg, he is Liquid Snoot. He is down one, and uh, everyone I'm, is just tired. I'm still not going to count him out just yet. Like His actual tactic there was good. It's worked on a lot of players that we've actually cast and seen. Uh, and, and he may have tried to be playing the EU server advantage. That's Let's be honest, any sort of cheese requires micro, and if there's latency issues for Keen, that might not be the case. But that's where my argument would be on a map like Lyrilac. I would hope to see Snoot maybe consider the Bantling Mutalisk style. I know Roaches and Ravagers are popular, but trying to split versus Banelings on a European server coming from Korea? Good luck, Keen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Banelings may not be in this game uh yet again while you opened up with speed links because you're going for the all-in you still want to go for roaches on arena because it is such a short map it's very dangerous to go for middle lane bling same deal for lair lat crest in general but especially horizontal spawns basically not diagonal spawns and i think we're gonna have to see some some roaches out of here and those are just they're a little easier to micro against cross bile is obviously thought to be dodged and, and you know worked around but it's not the same as splitting versus banelings. So, going to ask this on stream really quick, because I guess this goes down to the subscribers, and that, that is that's all, that's all chat right now. <laughs> um, before I commit to killing myself after these this series is done, do you guys want me to actually do the sub shout out? I want to do some. I, I don't know what. Like I want to do something to celebrate getting so many subs today, and that's the only thing I can think of. So, I guess this could have easily have been a drunk cast. <laughs> well, we got to do that for many other reasons, right? But um, I guess let, just let me know if you guys care or not. Uh, one in chat. There we go. Easy peasy. One if you want me to do a sub shout out. Full list. Jesus. All 800 people once the stream is done. And if I don't see at least, we'll say, 21s, then I'm not going to do it. There you go. Easy peasy. All right. Now, for Keen this game, nothing really crazy. Uh, I think, obviously, the Reaper opener is not so surprising. Snoop does get six lings, keeps him alive, and he's working towards speed. So there's nothing really out of the ordinary as far as openers go yet. And what's kind of important is Keen keeps his Reaper alive long enough to confirm that that stays to be the case. Mm -hmm. Because the worst thing is losing that Reaper. <laughs> I know because Zombie Reap kills me about it every time, guys. Uh, <laughs> if you lose your Reaper early on and don't get to scout, it can really suck. And playing blind into a Zerg is not something you want to do. Because the difference of Roaches and Ravagers requires a very different unit composition than if it is faster Mutalisks and Banelings and Zerglings. Mm. Would Keen go for a Hellbat attack? No. There's not enough Marines. No, he's not. If you go for Banshees, that'd be cool. But I think this might just be the two base... Um, the 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 build going up to a two base attack. There we go. Words are difficult. Sentences are hard. Casting is difficult. It I, is. And whatever. people in chat are gross because I wasn't smelling my finger. I was like pressing it against my lips because it's warm. <laughs> and I'm very cold right now. Sure. Uh, these lings doing any damage at all is a little bit surprising, especially because Hellions are out in the map. Or well, they're in the base, but um, it is going to be Banshees. So this. This is interesting then. Not the Banshee necessarily, but what it means for the rest of the game. If he goes for a two-base attack after this, it's not going to have as quick of stim, nor as many... Oh, wow. Nor as many tanks, but he's going to go for very old school. If we see Hellbats, it's usually Hellbat Medivac Marines. Uh, Hellbat Banshee has taken a long time to come back. Uh, well, we'll see if this ends up being volatile on it, because I mean, with Roaches, Ravagers, and Queens, it may not be too bad to deal with. We don't know. We haven't actually seen this enough. Uh, just a quick update, though. I had the score wrong, because I flipped the players' names around on the overlay after I had set the score, so sorry about that, guys. It is 1-0 for Keen. We all know this, because we just watched that first game come down. If only it would flip the scores, too. Yeah, why, actually, why doesn't it? It just... That's mm. annoying. Never really I'm thought about a, that. I'm not a programmer. Or a pro gamer. <laughs> Whatever, I could have been. No, you're a girl. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't know that was the wrong thing to say. <laughs> as soon as it left my mouth, I was like, that's not going to be funny, Rivka. No matter how you try and play that out, just apologize and move on. Uh, the roaches are out. 
She's got a grin on her face. It's funny as how fast you backpedal. <laughs> yeah, because I knew I said something stupid. Like, people seem to think I'm incapable of admitting Dude, when I'm wrong. You didn't even give me, like, time to have a retort. You just started backpedaling and, like, word vomit. Because <laughs> I knew I said something stupid, okay? Like, whatever. Uh, uh, anyways. Uh, the third CC coming down, the Banshee Hellbat attack did nothing. Like... And usually, so Hellbats against Roaches, it makes sense that they would do nothing. But Hellbat Banshee, like, sometimes you can just kind of sneak in a couple of Roach kills or Queen kills, but the Overseer was there too. So Keen did not start off this game that great. And look at Snoot is taking the opportunity to get to an Infestation Pit. Okay, and sadly it looks like there's like 50 wins in chat, so I'm going <laughs> to... Well, I'm going to not be able to cast tomorrow's time because I'm going to kill my voice tonight, so... Hype. Thank you, Drunken Master, for the 15 month resub. Good luck with that. <laughs> That's gonna be a lot of fun. That's gonna, I actually, I'm gonna time that. I'm gonna see how fast I can go through and see how long that'll take. Oh dear God. Do you have a guesstimate? What do you, what do you think we'll shoot for here? 40 minutes? 30 minutes? 30 minutes. I think I can do it in 20. Okay. Are you gonna bet? Yeah. Uh, it's slap bet. Slap it? No, slap Pop it? Slap bet. I get, the winner gets to slap the other one next time we like see it? each other. Okay. I had to slap a friend for truth and truth or dare, and I, I couldn't I couldn't put my heart into it, you know? <laughs> you just give it a little bit of a... A, little bit of a, <laughs> a love tap. <laughs> yeah, love tap. Yeah. A little bit of slap and tickle on the cheek, you know? <laughs> yep. I asked her how hard she wanted it, and she said... No. She's like, really hard, because I'm a lesbian. Ugh. No, oh. no, that's the one that's getting married. To a guy. My bad. Wrong one. <laughs> I like how you had to clarify to a guy. <laughs> Three banshees are heading to the main, and this is an abnormal amount of banshees to be hitting this late. So for Snoot's sake, he's not really prepared for it. And in fact, I would love if he went for the infestation pit sniper instead of the drone kills. I think that'd be a lot more effective. Either way, killing drones, gonna drive that back. Overseer gets made. Queen's being brought back home because there's a lot of queens out in the map. Oh, these Hellions, can he fungle them? Can he fungle them? Can he fungle them? Nope, there we go. Dies anyways. Well, that was a good use of your Banshees and Hellions. Yeah, I, I mean, we thought this was gonna be a giant Banshee Hellbat push, right? Like, we're gonna, not even the case. Uh, the Queen Tiger in 1989 in chat says, hello, I need Ting help. Unfortunately, I do believe Jesse has taken off for the day to work on editing the video of him losing a lot of StarCraft 2. So I don't believe he's around today, but he should be back tomorrow. So if Queen Tiger, you want to hold your questions till tomorrow or uh, just tweet at the Ting Twitter, you may get an answer ASAP. But I don't think Jesse's around anymore today, sadly, to take the questions. Mm -hmm. I love that he has been here active in chat to help people, though. That's been pretty awesome. It's been very, very nice to have. So uh, even though Keen's Banshees and Hellions did more than we thought they would, having failed the actual Hellbat, oh Jesus, uh, the actual Hellbat uh, Banshee attack, they tried to make up for it. They tried so hard, but it still hasn't really made up for the game overall. Uh, Snoots is 40 army supply up with decent tech with the Infestors. The upgrades are quite poor with one one only just starting, but he's going to win out with just army and tech with the hive coming in as well maybe some of ducks blinding clouds on the tanks which keen is really depending on to save him with all these chokes yeah that's where i, I really think the infestation pit would have benefited quite a bit because it buys you all that time to know that it's still going to be another two minutes before he, they can even start hive right um i don't know this the situation for keen's not dire by any means but snoot's creep control right now and as you mentioned hive tech it's going to be pretty brutal to deal with not to mention, let's not forget, like, Infestors, Fungal Growths, and Ravagers are sick mid-game combinations. Mm-hmm. Uh, Keen is, uh... It's in a bit of trouble. Creep is starting to get on top of his third. It's never a good sign. Keen's a little bit of it up. But 50 supply and new combat shields. What? what? Some pretty late combat shields. Yes. It, yes. Yep, all those things. Hey, Hi there. Correct. Hello. <laughs> hey. Uh, Snoot taking extra bases is going to get revealed by this medevac drop, which was not intending to hit this base, but may make a pit stop. Queens, the queens are all over here. Uh, but the Roaches and Ravagers are all over here, and Keen's actually a little bit out of position for this. Snoot's not going to push the issue, though. Does have to deal with drops starting to come around all over the map. And, oh, that fungal growth is nice. <sighs> Someone did the math on your... 
Sub shout out. So does that get a cancel on the fifth? Yeah, what the fuck? How do you do math on that? I don't know. You, uh, it's half an hour is about two seconds per name. Hmm. I'll probably start slowing down about halfway. I think I'll start off strong. Yeah, I'll take like, you know, breath pauses every now and then. <gasps> That's true too. <laughs> okay. I don't think you can do it in 20. We'll find out. Corrupt. I'm going to win the slap bet. 20 to 30 is my territory. 30 and on <laughs> is yours. Uh, Greater Spire finishes up. Let's go. So Snoop's actually not going to Broodlords, interestingly enough. Uh, yeah. Uh, I... <laughs> I we told you guys. <laughs> we told you guys two best of threes ago. The cast wasn't getting better from here. Okay, it's just it's, it's the broodlords. I'm really curious about. Like, it's no ultra list, but it can. The, I'm actually looking at the way Lurlax set up, and there's actually quite a few areas you could take advantage of it. I guess. Uh yeah. yeah. Mm. So. But to have no ultras at all, like. Uh... Hmm. I guess he was he just didn't want to upgrade the ultras and have no upgrades with a Roach Ravager. I mean, he was in such a dominant position, he could have gotten away with no upgrades on Roach Ravager, but um I guess just uh realizing that he wouldn't be able to break Keen goes to the Brood Lords. Ultras might have done a bat like a worse job trying to break him. Who knows? But Keen pushes out, and this is where ultras would actually get us around. But Brood Lords are on the way anyways, so either way, Keen's gonna get put Push back, and he really doesn't have that much of an answer for the Broodlords, other than hoping they get out of position. Oh, Tanks getting some nice shots. I guess this is what's kind of cool about the Broodlords, though, over Ultralisks. They dominate tanks without question. Uh, Siege up, pack it, pack it up, go home. <laughs> Made a mistake. Chris Biles gonna hit some of these units, not the tanks though. Best of Terrence coming down top of it to just lay this, lay down the law! Does Liquid Snoot and he is going to dominate! It's not even gonna be close. Wiggity 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 wag. Um, Keen turning a, around uh, on his back. Thing. There's just no bio left over to even take, like, ha try and get underneath the and, brood lords. And they're coming, they're gonna abuse this ledge here. An army he does lack. Mm. Snoot kicking him in the sack. Nice rhymes. Beautiful. There's a guy in the community named Jack Attack. That's true. Skinny as hell, but trust me, he don't smoke crack. <laughs> so don't give him any flack. <laughs> it gets better. Can you, <laughs> can you eat some little candies? They're called Tic Tacs. But don't worry, in this game, there's no map hacks. And you know who he voted for? Barack. <laughs> You ruined it. Okay, you killed it. Done. It was good, and then you, you got involved. I wish you never yeah, got involved okay. with that. We're done. <laughs> Broodlords are just going ham, and of course, the queens are not transfusing them. They could make this so much easier if they would just pop off those thousands of transfusers, but not necessary. Snoot will tie up the series one to one.